92% of mass shootings since 2009 occurred in gun-free zones. On October 9th, the Crime Prevention Research Center released a revised report showing that 92% of mass public shootings between January 2009 and July 2014 took place in gun-free zones. 92%. Jerome Corsi, writing for the World Net Daily, reported in 2012 that psych meds were linked to 90% of school shootings. Some 90% of school shootings over more than a decade have been linked to a widely prescribed type of antidepressant called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs. According to British psychiatrist Dr. David Healy, a founder of rxisk.org or risk.org, an independent website for researching and reporting on prescription drugs. So what are gun-free zones? Are they really fundamentally legal? Or are they a petri dish for domestic terror? Why is it that good people with guns are banned from having them and there is virtually zero law enforcement in gun-free zones to assure that good people are sufficiently protected by the bad guys who can acquire guns anytime they want? Or is that just it? They are protected as zones where domestic terror can be orchestrated in order to push the motives of a global narrative. The bad guys will never relinquish their guns. It appears we need more stories where the bad guys lose. And what better way to make that happen than to arm the good law-abiding citizens that can begin to turn the tide on an unrelenting wave of domestic terror events that infinitely spins in the controlled media wash cycle. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. I was there at the beginning, inside the Clinton machine. I saw it all happen, from the corrupt to the absolutely corrupt. And that's when I thought about my father, who was dying of lung cancer, and what he would do if he knew the man I'd become. And then I thought about my daughter. What if the cocaine they were bringing in was to end up getting used by her? I hit my knees that day and asked God to forgive me. I wasn't a good person. I worked in special operations, Central America, South America. I did a lot of bad things. But I hit the bottom that day and said I was going to make up for it. And now, I just want to see these criminals brought to justice and get their just due, not made president, but put where they belong in jail. One thing about Hillary, Bill was just a good timing guy. But Hillary, she's an animal. Hillary is the one 
that I promise you, she pulls the strings. She pulled them in Arkansas. She pulled them in the White House when she was there as the First Lady. And my God, if she gets to be president, what you see out here now is going to change. We thought it changed with Obama. There's nothing compared to what's going to happen with Hillary. And I tell you right now, I will stop Hillary. We've gone further than anybody we know of, and that's all we're going to say. And people can ask us a hundred different ways and from a hundred different directions. And we're just going to leave the ultimate decision up to the American people. I really um, just want everybody to take a deep breath and relax and just, you know, sit back because here they come again. We're going to have to just ride through this as we have so many of these other um, false accusations. Let me get the air clear about this. The email scandal, I believe, was brought out by the Clintons. Now, I would be pleased to talk more about this important matter, but I know there have been questions about my email, so I want to address that directly, and then I will take a few questions from you. You see, we knew running for election. You never want to run as the anointed one. You always want to run as the underdog. Now, it's kind of hard when you're building Hillary Clinton with all the hoopla and who they are now. How do you get to be the underdog? If you look at the email scandal, where did the email scandal come from? The New York Times. The New York Times has never been anything but a PR firm for the Clintons. Even if they had it, there is no way the New York Times would have broke a story about Hillary that could do damage to her. But look what she's done. They have used the email scandal to catapult them into an underdog status. Now, as we get closer to the election, when you get through the primary and you get into the general election, I can tell you, New York Times read my lips. Go ahead and write the articles, probably already written. Right when they get into the general election, you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, oh, we've checked all this out, and it turns out there was nothing to it. That's what's going to happen. It's all used to stage Hillary. Now, if you don't believe me, remember when Hillary ran against Barack Hussein Obama. She should have used our system then, but she didn't. She came in and she was the anointed one. And he whooped her. She's not making that mistake this time. And by the way, if you notice, Hillary's also done the other thing you have to do at the formative stage of a campaign. She's going around, she's sucked up all of the money that's out there. So anybody tries to run against her, I hear people ask me, what do you think about Biden? I don't think about anybody. What are they going to run against her with? They have already laid claim to the money. Once uh, the American public begins to see the emails, uh, they will have an unprecedented insight into uh, a high government official's uh, daily communications, which I think will be uh, quite uh, interesting. You may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. Those messages disappear all by themselves. You see, when Hillary gets in office within six months, according to the plan we wrote back in 1986, literally there's a plan called the 86 plan, and it's where we finalized and put everything down. Within six months, she will make Bill ambassador to the UN. When Bill gets to be ambassador to the UN, it won't be six months then because of the Clinton Foundation, what they've used the Clinton Foundation for, it won't be six months until he's made Secretary General of the UN. Now, can you imagine the power Bill and Hillary have? I 
mean, they will have achieved more power than any couple in the history of the world when they pull that stunt. On January 20th, 1993, William Jefferson Clinton became the 42nd President of the United States. At the time, most Americans were not aware of the extent of Clinton's criminal background, nor were they aware of the media blackout, which kept this information from the public. As state attorney general and later governor, Bill Clinton in 12 years achieved absolute control over the political, legal, and financial systems of Arkansas. As president, he would attempt to do the same with the nation by bringing members of his inner circle with him to Washington. The hijacking of America was underway, and its impact on future generations would be incalculable. It was years, years ago when uh, I was picked up by a man named Mr. Witt Stevens, and Mr. Witt was the brother to Jack Stevens, Jackson Stevens, and they were the king makers in Arkansas. So they called me one day and said, we need to meet with you, and I met with them, and they said, we need you uh, to take a look-see at a guy that we think we can make governor, and we want him to be the youngest governor in the history of the country. So I agreed, and then uh, that's when I met Bill. When I met with him, it was kind of weird because I was talking to him and he was chasing after the waitresses. And uh, I would try to get his focus and all he would do is just chase after the waitress, just watch, man, I want some of that, man, I want some of that. And it just went on and on and on. And finally to the point where I had actually gotten a little bit perturbed about it and said, man, this, you know, we got to figure this out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was attorney general at the time. And so I went back the next day to Mr. Witt and told him what I thought. I said, Mr. Witt, this guy is, is a sexual predator. He's not just a womanizer. I mean, I'm telling you, this guy's sick. And uh, he's a pathological liar. I mean, and I told Mr. Witt, I couldn't even make him tell the truth. And when it came to something he could tell the truth on that would be harmless to him, he still couldn't tell him. Well, Mr. Witt said, you can break him, break him of that. We'll, we'll have a talk. So I figured, what the heck? A couple, three weeks passed. <clears throat> they met with Bill. Apparently, they got everything worked out the way they wanted it. And he was in the game running for governor. And that is a segment from the New Clinton Chronicles. You can find it on YouTube. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.